What's up YouTube? So tonight I'm finishing up the Miata front end. So as you can see these are already done. I'm going to show you how I did them. I'm also going to show you making the bumper and if you guys like it then I have another video I took of making the exhaust. So the first thing I got to do is I made these landing pads for the front support. These are going to get all welded in, but they also give me a, sh a straight line for the front that I could sand this to for the bumper mounts. So, cut these on the plasma, cleaned up all the edges. So, I'm just going to clean out all the seam sealer, then weld these in. So we got one side in, complete. I'm doing this side, this side's a little different. That pinch weld is laid down. This side is laid up, so it kind of cradles it. So I made it as tight as possible. Now I'm gonna finish welding this. So I also have to prep all this where this black line is and get this clean because I'm gonna weld it right to the car, the bar. Then I'm also going to put a gusset plate that bolts on here and welds over. Same thing up here. So, let's get this thing rocking. So I'm going to figure out where these pipes land and how tall I need to make them. First thing I'm going to start is over here. So two things. I just got to kick this bar just a fucking tiny little bit, just the tiniest little bit to get it back. This one, is about three quarters, and this one's at a half. Some people wouldn't care, I kind of do. I want this thing to be perfect. When someone looks at it, I want to be like, holy shit, this thing is super nice. So, that two seconds in the bender for that eighth inch will make all the difference. And on this, I just have to shorten the notch a little. I need to go in an eighth inch. So this is what we're building tonight. So my printer isn't working, so I ended up having to take my Bentec dimensions and basically what it tells me is where to start, what to bend it to, where to start. So we got our piece cut to length. Uh, I made it 10 inches longer because sometimes when you're bending in one piece with this, with my bender, it messes you up because there's not enough at the end for it to bend properly. So it's better off. I'd rather waste 10 inches of pipe than waste 65 inches of pipe. So just one way to look at it. So the code is here now. And that's why I did extra on it. Because if I didn't do extra, this would have fell off the die and you could have never got the correct bend. So I'm gonna take this out and we'll see what it looks like on the car. So we got the first piece done. Don't mind the length of it. It's, gonna, it's gotta be cut and trimmed to fit. But 
that's the beginning of it. That's the height. Um, the car is going to be a little bit lower, so it'll probably be about, I don't know, a little over six inches off the ground. I want it up a little because I plan to beat the fuck out of this thing and jump it, so I don't want to fuck it up. All right, so I got this one loaded up. It's all marked. So we got the first part, two parts built. Now we're just gonna tag it together. So that's gonna be the start of it. Okay, so that's it for tonight. This guy's ready to fall asleep. That's what we got. Most of the bars done. There'll be a center cross bar as soon as I figure out the height of the intercooler. And then I just have to attach it to the, the plates. And then we got ourselves a full chassis. That's right. Once this thing's painted and has lights on it, it's gonna be a whole different animal. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Keep watching. Thanks a lot. See ya.